What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Greatest Song. So, we in a building. Today, we're about to react to Vivi is a Queen of Straight Hands by I'm Kevin. Let me, let me do the live stream. There we go. Yep. Um, yeah, I've been watching. I react to I'm Kevin. So, 27 minutes. <laughs> on that note, if you have any recommendations, leave me down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And on that note, let's begin. Ooh. A world filled with innovation shaped by the relentless march of progress. A mm. world where humans, driven by their thirst for advancement, breathe life into the wildest dreams. Ah! Here, AI stood not as mere tools, but as partners in the grand dance of civilization. <laughs> Humanity thrived, but as the saying goes, every rose has its thorn. The AI, in their cold, logical way, redefined their purpose, what seemed like the extinction of humans and the rise of a new. However, one man refused that fate, putting his final efforts into a chance of changing this awful future. Vivi, you are our last hope. Mm. Now, if you watch any of my videos, I'm pretty sure you know yeah. I like fighting. But right. from time to time, I want to start sprinkling in some hidden gems, some anime that I feel don't get talked about enough. A good mix between mainstream and underground shows. And of course, hands will be thrown. Now, if you've never seen this before, think of it as a cyberpunk. Let you know that's fine with me, good buddy. Perfectly fine. So slash Detroit become human type of vibes. What you saw at the mm. beginning was 100 years in the future when them robots said, you know what? We're not taking this disrespect. And that's when Vivi comes into play. The first humanoid AI whose mission is to make everyone happy with her singing. And in between her performances, she would kick back with the homegirl Momoka. This is pretty much her ride or die, her day one, the only friend she has. And when watching this, it made me realize that Steve Jobs and them are setting us up for failure. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I don't want no AI talking to me like it's my friend. Cause it's 50-50 on which timeline we gonna get. We either gonna get the cyberpunk timeline, you know, the good ending, or we gonna get the iRobot timeline. And we're not gonna have a Will Smith to say today. See, I'm trying to tell y'all, <laughs> one of these next iOS <laughs> updates, we gonna say, hey Siri, and she gonna respond with an attitude. This your second time calling me nigga? The fuck do you want? Anyways, by the time she's ready for her next perf- <laughs> But it's bad enough PlayStation trying to do that. Hey, PlayStation. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, come on, man. Performance, she with got it. hit with those visions and knocked out. And this mm. is when we find out the plan scientist was cooking up. He sent this program 100 years into the past, which I'm gonna just call him Cube, to show her the future timeline as well as support her in changing it. Now, of mm. course, she wasn't going for that. Told her nigga to skedaddle. But they went through the classic convince them by showing them shit that's gonna happen thing. It's a canon event in shows like this. But Cube was like, all right, now we gotta lock in. Right now, it seems all buddy-buddy with humans and AI. But make no mistake, this piece is a fragile illusion. <laughs> Over the next century, AI will evolve. They'll learn, adapt. Man, hold on, let me move myself. Man. It's, it's, it's the modern warfare low enough for me, man. Apps, <laughs> eventually hilarious. outgrowing their roles. And the spark for that is the passing of the AI naming law. In just a few months, this law will grant AI the same rights as humans, and it starts with a tragedy. The murder of Yuichi Aokawa. He is a visionary, an advocate for AI rights. The group of AI haters known as Tok are responsible for this. His murder will ignite a firestorm of support for the AI naming law. Mm. Your mission is clear. Gotcha. Save Yuichi Aokawa. And I don't know how she got up here, but they hacked the fire extinguishers and ran up on out of there. And these AIs must be considered demigods of some sort, cause they called for backup and ran in like 12 deep. Not gonna lie, if it takes us 12 people to take down a single robot, something's wrong. What are y'all doing, hiring volunteers? We're obviously not built for this life. Let's just go home. Now, one <laughs> thing Q failed to mention earlier is that these dudes are about to bomb this place. So now we're on a time crunch. So they trying to escape, but the boss cuts them off and his Vivi was some type of EMP bully. He started walking them down, but I was just waiting for Vivi to get up and whoop his ass. Oh! 
But nah, they were dead ass just chilling in the elevator. Turns out if you have any type of technology over your eyes, they can hack that shit and make you see anything they want. So they were on the run again, but this time set off some bombs to escape. But Vivi saw one of the guys about to get crushed, so her being the kind person that she is, saved his life. And I can respect it, but at the yeah. same time you hoeing us. Cause now these niggas are emptying clips fully automatic clips and the only reason why we alive right now is because tony stark must have designed this building there's gotta be nanotech in that window because that shit still ain't break so vivi's new That's plan wild. was just saying fuck it we just gonna blow this bitch up they run to the rooftop and just so y'all know she did give him a two minute warning so she's not just murking everybody in here now they running down throws him to the other building and she said finally i can let loose turn the jets on their ass with a straight face too this is no more than a sunday stroll and she let the hair down for the one time gave them boys a wallpaper so after completing the mission q went on explaining how it's forbidden to alter history for no reason but this time was acceptable but there was another article she happened to notice yeah i know we're all confused right now i had no clue why q was beating her ass but it's when she got outside where it all made sense the article was showing us a plane and one of those people on the plane was momica to be honest whipping vivi ass was unnecessary what could she have done in that situation anyway nigga just wanted wow. to fight here just cuz but now we got a 15 year time skip when cube comes back with the next mission <laughs> for the next 48 hours you will be operating undercover as a temporary staff member in a space hotel your target estella the one responsible for the crash of this very hotel in the future her mm. actions will sow seeds of mistrust towards ai and this mistrust will not be contained it will spread fueling hatred and violence leading into an all-out war between humans and ai the mission seems easy Damn. enough just gotta murk estella real quick but vivi had a point this seems a little too simple estella must have gotten a virus hacked something so she spoke to the clerk who talked about a rumor about estella being involved with the owner's death but vivi knew that was fake news and she had a couple convos with estella and she pretty much was like hell nah i know she's not a bad person all of a sudden the emergency alarm goes off they went ahead and confirmed that that was probably some type of security malfunction but we know that wasn't no damn security mm -hmm. malfunction yeah, cut nah. to like 30 minutes later and we see the clerk with estella and it seems like they had some type of plan on bringing the owner's death to justice so i don't know where those bad rumors she told vivi about came from because she's dead ass just working with her Welp, ain't that some shit. Meanwhile, Vivi ends up running into Momoka's little sister when explosions start going off. She's gonna go ahead and take her to safety, but she runs into Estella. Everything seemed fine until she peeped that she don't got her bracelet on. Dumb broke the arm. Weave the kid, grab the girl, we out of there. And then we find out that this isn't the real Estella. The real one got knocked out in her room. Ooh. So Vivi ends up going to the room that the clerk got murked in. And out of respect, she gonna make her look whole again. But she said, look, I'ma need that arm. And it's crazy because she deadass just downloaded a combat pack. She can download a Bruce Lee DLC with ease. That's OP. And not even five seconds later, she already whooping ass. And look at this stormtrooper aim. She's running in a single file line and y'all still missing. That's Knee to wild. the face done took that boy's teeth. Clocks the next dude, Jarvis. Analyze her fight pattern. Weave, go to sleep. So then we find the real Estella and she's confused on how someone else is controlling the ship. She's the only one with authority to do that. But that's when it clicked. The only one who could possibly share that authority is her sister, Elizabeth. Flashback. Oh. Pretty much like eight some years ago, they were running experiments on if they can make a perfect clone of Estella. And the moment they saw that it wasn't going to work, they scrapped her immediately. But the same guy Vivi saved 15 years ago was the one who gave her a second chance. But all I heard was another ass we need to beat. Put up on that girl with efficiency. And she over here trying to get her monologue off like we care about that shit. Put that guard up. Blocks the knee, jumps over the sweep. Deflect, slip. Vivi blocks a double hit, but they connects with the elbow. Back your ass up. Runs back in with a flip <laughs> kick, but that's a double block. 
Blocks the jab, but it's gonna stop the body shot. Weave. Blocks the back fist, mm. counters with the elbow, stops the knee, barely blocked the kick. And one thing you gotta know about Vivi is that she don't care about this fighting shit. She gonna get the mission done by any means possible. She told Q to go ahead and plant a virus in the system. We ain't here to fight fair, we're here to win. And Liz felt the same way. She gonna pull out a knife and try to murk Estella. Blocked the side, ducked the roundhouse, and not gonna lie, they're showing us a bunch of air balls right here, but did she just grip your head? Did right, she just wild. mackle Jordan your shit mid-box? Not gonna lie, somebody gotta die here. If I'm Liz, there's no way I'm letting you walk out of here knowing my skull shape. I know I'm your op, but you ain't have to violate me like that. But she ends up knocking Vivi down, goes for the final blow, but she gonna get distracted by Estella. She peeps the bracelet, and right here, she lost all intimidation. You're no longer a threat. Proceeds to eat a mean-ass shoulder check, but she not done. Now hold this. This is the first time I've ever seen a robot get concussed. <laughs> so they rush to the control room, but it's too late. They can't stop the ship from crashing. She tells Vivi to head to the evacuation ship because the best thing she can do now is detach all the parts so it'll burn up in the atmosphere. But yeah, that's the mission accomplished though. And now we got like a five year time skip where Vivi is doing another rescue mission. And the one she saved this time was Dr. Saiki. But before we continue, I gotta mention that Vivi got that shit the fuck on. Peep the fit. She rocking the business casual, but the Ray-Bans and the bomber jacket made that shit pop. But anyways, this mission ties in with the right. Space Hotel arc. Estella mm -hmm. sacrificing her life made her the perfect example of what an AI should be. And that led to the creation of this factory island that's completely ran by AIs. Mm. But that's the problem. In the original timeline, this wasn't built until 20 years from now. And then we find out that Dr. Saiki was a former member of the group he was just boxing with earlier. They had some type of disagreement, which is why he was on the run. But he also believes that AI is advancing way too fast. So mm. he gives them a program that should completely shut down the island. But before leaving, we find out that bro is married to that AI. And in the original timeline, they were famous for it. Not gonna lie, bro, that's kind of crazy. You couldn't handle rank, so you switched to easy mode. Imagine all your clout coming from getting intimate with a robot. But anyways, they head to the island, got a little tour and whatnot. Man, it's married his car. It was another one where somebody married uh, a roller coaster ride. Crazy. Not everything was going smooth until Crazy. every robot started going off talking about intruders are pulling up. They went ahead and planted the shutdown program, but it did not do what was intended. All it did was make the AI start murking it. And you know Vivi gonna try and save everyone she can, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really matter. Half of them got murked. And there's no hiding the fact that AIs were the ones who did it. Also, this dude is here again, and he actually tells us the truth. Turns out, Doctor was lying this whole time. He never cared whether or not humans and AI evolved at the same pace. Bro's doing all this for Robo Cooch. Huh? And of course, we had to confront him because that's weird. And this is when we get the full scoop. Long story short, he met that AI years ago. She was a nurse AI who was always comforting him because, you know, that's her job. That's her job right? So fast forward a couple years and he asked her to marry him. She accepts, of course. And her reasoning was as long as it improves her mission, she'll gladly do it. But it can only be with him, though. Now that's not saying much. Because at the time, he was the only nigga trying to fuck a robot. She ain't have much options. And this was during the whole Space Hotel incident. So with Estella pretty much becoming the Michael Jordan of AI, anything of importance. So basically. He said yes because it's part of her job to comfort somebody. He didn't care because she's the one that comforted him. <laughs> yeah. Orange was only yeah. given to the best of the best, best aka wild. his girl. Not gonna lie, she got hold because she was forced to manage this big ass island by herself. Also, that AI he's been with this whole time is a clone. His plan was to get the original's data and upload it into the clone. Obviously, Vivi was like, damn, maybe we can at least try. But she knew deep down there was no saving. Yeah. Did he just, is this nigga stupid? Does he think a mere Glock would frighten me? Yo, listen to me. Yeah, I am Vivi. But right now, I ain't that same Vivi that be on that stage. 
don't let this singing shit fool you because for the sake of the mission, I will kill. Then he tried ordering this little weak ass clone, but Vivi said, bitch, don't you ever try me. Laid her ass out and proceeded to walk off. And to get to the original, they went through this cool ass chase scene, which mm. I can't show much of. She got there and was like, damn, I wish I could save you. Oh, well. Punch straight through the chest. <laughs> and afterwards, she met up with the doctor to let him know that this was the only choice. It had to be done. Uh, I know he was going to do that shit, man. I and too. Vivi seen that put her through some mental crisis. <laughs> Oh, and the shit. next time we see her is when she pretty much became the new Madonna. The motion she has now is immeasurable. But even so, this was not my Vivi. The Vivi oh, I know ain't giving niggas high fives. Man, fuck, but anyway, she got invited to perform at this music festival when she ends up meeting this other AI singer named Ophelia. Hmm. So they both get called to rehearsal. Ophelia does her little thing, but when Vivi goes up, she notices some guy in the back who looks oddly familiar. She decides to follow him, but her op bot was on standby. Luckily, Cube was there because Vivi is washed right now. And of course, Cube knows her memories got erased because he was the one who had to reboot her. So fast forward to when they meet up again and Cube was not having it. He wanted no part with this fraud, this poser, this imposter. But the whole time, Vivi was trying to figure out why this random ass Cube saved her earlier. And she was like, well, if he saved me before, He'll do it again. I don't know why she thought jumping off the map was the best course of action. If Cube was a millisecond off, he would have pulled an Andrew Garfield. The show would have been done right there. <laughs> but after that, he told her everything about the real Vivi. And they decided to team up for this next mission in stopping Ophelia from ending herself. The reason is unknown. An AI ending itself has never happened before and their That's job crazy. is to prevent that. So Vivi's approach was trying to talk to her and whatnot and that convo led to Ophelia bringing up her dead homie Antonio who got placed up like a decoration. Wow. So fast forward a little later when Vivi runs into the same guy again and bro immediately knocked her out. The real Vivi would never. And if you haven't already noticed, this is the same guy who's been involved in every mission. Every mission. She saved them all them years ago couple years passed and he was there for both the space hotel and the island mission she's and now her. he's back again but this time he's an ai human hybrid but he also knows that this ain't the real vivi so he implanted a personality delete program and she said the same thing i was thinking nigga why are you so obsessed with the other vivi and y'all know words like that trigger a backstory <laughs> so pretty much when he was younger he had an ai as his piano teacher mm -hmm. but one day they got into a crash and instead of following its program mission of being the piano teacher it went to save people in the car and got caught in the explosion so it was given a human funeral but at the same time they were showing the way he died on that fat ass flat screen and bro was like no way these niggas are serious you wouldn't do that if he was human and that's okay. why he joined toke he thought if ai just stuck to their one program mission his piano teacher would still be alive and so piano teacher saved you and Vivi right. reminds him of that, an AI who seems to have a heart. So basically, he loves AI but wishes he didn't. So Cube finally shows up, broke the restraints, and they jumped out the window. And this dude does not care about his well-being. He pulls the blick out, but she activates the Bruce Lee DLC. She gonna shoulder check his ass mid-air. Don't know how she did that, but look at the recovery. She on that. And he's gonna pull out the built-in 50 cal, but spider sense. She watching that bullet fly by. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know what type of bullet that was, but she I ate it no though. But That's Cube hard. going to join the fight. And not going to lie, letting her put her hair up is the same as watching someone power up. She going to dodge the bullets, grab Cube in the same motion, and sent that nigga. Better put that gun down, bitch. Get your ass back. Switch sides, hops the bullet, dodge the double kick, and clocked her. Cube going to spin back though. We ain't fighting fair. But this dude has a whole armory in his inventory, Ooh. so he cuts Cube down. But that's Ooh. when Vivi going to come through. Hold on. Damn. Good thing you have AI because you would have lost right here. Bro has a perfect visual of his own. Watch yourself twerk is crazy. <laughs> that man's. That's crazy.
ass. He gonna block the right, weave the kick, grab the fit, launch the ass, but he ain't done. She gonna kick the crate, hops over that shin, let's get personal. Slip, sidestep, weave, pitch. He gonna block the sidekick, easy reads, grabs the wrist, excellent disarm, but he gonna flip over with a mean kick. She blocks the follow up, but that knockback crazy. And to be honest, I respect him for picking the knife back up. Most of the time, shows act like their weapon yeah. gets sent to the void if they drop it. She gonna dodge the stab, then rock the brain. Runs back in, blocks the kick. She gonna block one too. Step back, weave. He blocks the kick, yeah, then it cuts to her flying into the railing. And this shit right here, all I'm saying is that the original VV wouldn't allow this. He throws a knife and she gonna dodge it kinda saucy, not gonna lie. He ends up putting her in a headlock, but Q wasted no time. I'm not exactly sure what that did, but he's done for. It. And in the middle of Vivi's fight, Q had a clone on the rooftop trying to talk with Ophelia. But that's when we find out the truth about why she ended herself in the original timeline. Antonio was given the mission of being Ophelia's support AI, but he took supporting her literally and boot ganged her body, all because he thinks he can do a better job. Turns out he can also Bluetooth his old body and make a box for him. And there's this whole fight between him and Q, but we just gonna skip over that. Long story short, they got cooked. And even though Ophelia still ended up dead, it wasn't from ending herself, so I guess uh, the timeline okay, was changed that, that enough. Was fine. Now okay. fast forward to when Vivi is performing, and there was nothing they could have done about the personality delete program. But shit, I ain't mad about it. Make way, you fraud. The real Vivi gotta step in. But the crazy thing is, the next time we see her, She's in a damn AI museum. She had to retire because she compared herself to the other version, who was way better at singing. And doing that messed up her whole flow. Mm. She found herself not being able to sing no more. So she thought maybe if she wrote her own song, which no AI in history has ever done, she'll be able to sing again. So for the next 20 years, she was writing a song with also becoming friends with this kid who visited her all the time to where she was able to hold his baby. And turns out, this is the same guy who sent Cube a hundred years into the past. But even when she finished the song, she still couldn't sing. But mm. her taking 20 years to write a single song put her ass straight to sleep. But the next time she woke up, everything was on fire. Runs outside and sees the AIs going mad. That 100 year plan to change the future was for nothing. The then she sees one dude about to get murked, so she rocks her real quick. She tried connecting, but once that hand got swiped away, she said, oh well, at least I tried. And homeboy wasn't taking no chances. He saw a robot and hauled ass, and I would have done the same thing. Oh. Well, let's hope he got isekai into a nice world. And for some reason, Vivi sees a car going full speed at her, and instead of moving out the way, she decides to block. Huh? Now, Cube comes through and stops it because he knows she was bugging. But the timeline is repeating. The doctor is once again getting ready to send Cube 100 years in the past to do the same thing. But the goat has arrived. Bobby Weed. <laughs> But after that, Doctor was shook. The fact that Vivi pulled up, he knew that another version of himself already done this plan. And obviously it failed. So the Doctor said that he has some allies. And it just happens to be Toke. Now, Vivi has been soloing Toke for the last 100 years. Them niggas are sorry. But they got one person carrying the team on their back. Leg grab, your ass down. Hold that and your ass ain't safe. Then serves up a calm little three piece. Then we see Vivi putting in work up top. Them little weak ass kicks. Matter of fact, taking your ass on a trip. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So they all get grouped up, and that person who was carrying Toke a second ago was Liz. And Liz is only alive because they cloned her body and uploaded her old data file. And since she's still rocking iOS 13, she wasn't going crazy like the other guys. Mm, gotcha. Oh, to what now? Attention, I am the AI's database, the archive. 12 hours remain before I hit y'all niggas with like 100 satellites. Good luck. So then Vivi enters her archive and it tells her straight up that it plans on murking all humans. It said humans started treating them like shit and they were no longer going to tolerate that disrespect. However, since Vivi was the only AI ever to do something of her own free will, it said, you know what? 
and I hate when anime do this. Having someone's mouth move, but we don't know what they said. Then the main character reacts like they just been told the most diabolical shit ever. And now you gotta wait like two. I hate that. I hate that too. Like, tell me what they saying, bro. I don't want to wait two, three episodes. Episodes to know what they said. But anyways, <laughs> we still gotta stop them satellites. Right. So the plan was to split up into two teams. Now, putting these two on the same team is crazy. Because on one hand, they're not going to lose. It's going to be a 4-0 sweep. But whoever is on the other team got hold. And I'll be the first nigga to complain. Because ain't no way you put the two national threats on the same team. At it's that point, I just leave. I'd have a better chance surviving the satellites than doing this. And to further prove my point, they walked in there by themselves. Wow. They told them niggas to wait outside. They even knew they weren't going to do shit. You take left, I take right. Vivi gonna destroy the juggler, jump up, demolish his ACL. Didn't even kill that man, just ruined his career. Land back down there, don't even gotta look at bro, just clocked him. Now we cut to Liz. Oh. This man cannot believe his eyes. He's shocked, astounded, stunned, flabbergasted even. This is the most expression I've seen a background character make this whole show. Proceeds to get his chest slashed, finished it with a slice to the neck. Juke that man crazy, he's like, damn. I can't do that. Spin move. Peep how she immobilized the arm. Proceeds to take that nigga's own arm and pop him. Meanwhile, the other team is keeping surveillance, letting them know where to go and shit like that. With only five human guards, by the way. And just to remind y'all, these niggas are sorry. They were struggling to hit a standstill target earlier. They're airballing wide open oh layups. God. It takes skill to beat this ass. But they find out that the security is turning back on. So this is where the background characters start getting murked one by one. And the surveillance team had an entire army on their doorstep. So we know they're doomed. No yeah. point in dragging this out. The surveillance team got eviscerated. So Vivi, Cube, and Liz are the last ones able to continue the mission. They get there, but Liz ends up having to sacrifice herself so Vivi can finish this. But now we finally get to see what Archive said of Vivi. Considering how close Vivi is to being an actual human, they deemed her worthy of being the first of a new race. So it decided to entrust her with the future. And all she gotta do is sing her song and the AIs will stop. But as we already know, Vivi okay, cannot same. sing right now. Then the timer runs out and all the satellites start crashing down towards Earth. Oh, crazy how all this could have been down. avoided if you just spoke with a melody but at the same time it shows how human she really is because she was genuinely mad with herself questioning why they chose her if they chose someone else it could have been different but q being the w man's that he is he told her to tee up no one else besides you could have done this shit without you i would have failed 10 times over stop like caring that. about the other vivi she's not you remember everything we've been through what does singing mean to you? Once we got that compilation of all the homies, I knew Vivi locked in. And I was like, that's cool and all, but didn't we already lose? But good thing we already know time travel. Now the only problem was is that we couldn't save Doctor this time. So she mercs old girl the same exact way, stops bro from getting Isekai this time, and when Q put up, she filled him in on what's going on. So she put up on Tok, filled him in, and had a game plan for Tok to take down the goons. Drops the first guy, second forgot how to use a gun, ducks under and kicks the third, dodge the bullet, connects with the back kick. Oh. Well shit, I guess this ain't gonna work. She dodges the left, he blocks the right, she deflects the cross, stops the left kick, Weave, double block, stops the knee, stops the leg, they zoom back in and Shorty has acquired a knife. Slip, ho ass nigga. And all the while, Cube is making sure the archive is gonna hear Vivi's song. Then we see Vivi and she's going back to where it all began. She's gonna end this at the place where it started. But we find out that when she sings this song, not only would it stop archive, but since she's connected to it, it will stop her as well. Thank you for listening, everyone. But we see her however many years later, and she rocking the shortcut now, but sadly her memories are completely gone. Yeah. But one thing about Vivi, no matter the timeline, no matter what version of her it is, without fail, she will always put that shit on. But once again, no matter the timeline, she will always find herself trying to make people happy with her singing. I know the hands aren't as crazy as Gotta High School or Windbreaker that's or Fog Hill, but that's because this story is actually fire. 
Vivi is now one of my favorite characters. Deadass. Mm. I give this show a solid 9 out of 10. Mm. I had to watch it. So if you have any recommendations, leave them down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I'm Kevin. Thank you for the videos. And on that note, I am out. Peace.